Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Amit Tower from Networkers Home Technical Team, and today's topic is SSL Handshake Processor. So SSL Handshake Part Two. So in the previous video, we have already discussed about server-based authentication. So let's start. So what is the agenda for this video? So the agenda is. So the first we will discuss client and server-based authentication handshake process, and then session resumption process over there. So in the previous video, we have discussed only server-based authentication. And in this video, we will discuss about client and server-based authentication. So let's start. So first is client and server-based authentication. So in client and server-based authentication, there will be 13 messages will be exchanged between client and server. So in the previous video, we have discussed about server-based authentication. And in that video, and in that time, we have discussed about 10 messages, right? So this is all about client and server, both authentication. So let's start. So the first is client will send, will send the client hello. So as you know, and the client hello, so then it will send the same things which we have discussed in the previous video. So it will send, this is client hello. So it will send first about uh, SSL version, which version of SSL are you going to be using, which protocol, SSL protocol version you're going to be used here. The second is about random number. The third is session ID. Then the fourth is cipher suit. And the fifth is compression method. And then is extension. Okay, so this is the first message. The second message about these messages case in details we have already discussed in the previous video. So please go through the previous video. So here we will see now this time and the server hello second is about server hello so this is all about selected ssl version then random number this is all about server random number okay then session ID and session ID will be generated by the server itself. Then selected cipher suit, then compression method and then extensions. So these are the things. Okay, now, so see here. So first is client hello, then server hello. The third thing is client is a server certificate. Then fifth is server, fourth is server key exchange account here. Okay, and then client request, request to the client for the certificate here. Okay, so now, see further so this is two messages now the third message then this is a third message here so third message is all about server certificate server certificate here so that certificate could be from godaddy.com. It could be maybe you're using from DTCRT. Okay. And this is a certificate. And this certificate will be encrypted by the private key of the godaddy or the DTCRT. Then server 
key exchange okay so here the public key of server okay after that then request for client certificate because this time this scenario will be there in the corporate in the network so many times okay because if there is any and let's consider in your network only and you are hosting any server and this server on this server you are hosting very important informations and all okay very important data is there very crucial data is there and only your employees can access and you want to give the access to the your employees only and i'll again to the selected employees so what will be there server will authenticate himself that's fine so but this time you have to implement here client authentication also you not only server will not authenticate so this time client will also authenticate so then manually we have to install certificates and in the browser of the this people because this guy is there using the laptop and then using the google chrome so in this google chrome then manually we have to upload the certificates okay so that is all about client and certificate based authentication so then after that here server hello done okay so request for certificate this is the extra message this is the, this one is the extra message sent by the server to the client request for request for the certificate here so certificate request for the client then server hello term. so these are the messages sent by the server after that client will authenticate himself and will send one certificate here then we'll send certificate over there okay so let's consider now this is from here and this is all about client certificate here This is all about client certificate. Okay. 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 This is my certificate and you can verify now. Okay. After that, then there will be client key exchange. Client will send the pre master key. Okay. Cl uh, client uh, certificate verification. So now verify. So this time client will send the verification of this certificate, which is sent by the server. Then change cipher specific so after that so what happened now so here client certificate after that from here will be client key exchange okay or you can say this is pre master key generated by client okay after that now certificate verify the verification of the server certificate which is shared by server okay, this is the verified or not after that change cipher specific and then finished same everything and then same from here change cipher specific and then all about finished over there okay so these are the message exchange here so you can see here certificate then client key exchange so this is all about the pre-master key which will be shared by client with the servers and which will be encrypted by the public key of the server and that public key of the server we have exchanged already in the packet number four and then server when the server will receive the pre-master key then server will decrypt that pre-master key which was encrypted by the public key of the server and now server will will decrypt with its private key after that client will verify certificate there it will send the verification of the certificate then chain cipher specific so this is all about the first encrypted packet and then finished from the client side and then finally server will send again chain cipher specific and then finished here so overall 
what are the messages increase or added into this one the first is about client request the server will request for the client certificate and then client will send its certificate so message number fifth and message number seventh and then message number nine so these are the three messages will be added in this scenario so this is all about client and server based authentication now second is session resumption here okay if client want to resume the previous session so so first of all client client want to resume the session so client will send the word client hello okay so now now that we have already discussed okay if client when the client will send their client hello okay so it will send the session id it will send the session id with the session id there is a two possibilities one is null and there will be some value or let's consider one two three four five six seven eight nine zero this is the session id this is the server you have already established this session with this particular server before that and now you want to resume the session from the same point so this server will always contain the information of the session id say so let's consider this is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay so this is some database of the server so now it will send this client hello with the session id then server will check in its database now this session id is already expired or not because if it's already expired so then we will i'll generate the new session id and then i'll send the server hello with new session id there. then i'll send the what with the new session id the server hello i'll exchange now then after that i'll send the server hello with new session id and otherwise if this session id is already there so with this session id there will be master key already okay and there will be already three keys with it so okay that is integrity then about integration which we are going to be used for the integrity or integration and then about encryption and then about initialization vector here. but for server need to check server will check it it's is the session key is still there in this database or it's already time got expired okay so there is a two possibility so then there is two possibilities here so the possibilities is the first possibility here okay scenario one the thing is if session id is there okay so then it will send this packet okay this is with like server hello and then will send the same session id one two three four five six seven eight nine zero that's all there is a possibility if session is expired is already expired so then what happened will send server hello will send server hello there okay but with new session id with new session id with new session id these are the possibilities so here so if there will be new session id so then again all 10 messages a uh, message exchange will be there okay if it's server based authentication and if it's there server and client based authentication so then again 13 messages will be exchanged that we have already discussed in the previous videos so the concept is let's consider if the session id is not expired yet and that is still in the database so what happened so what are the steps the thing is then server hello the server will send the server hello with the same session id and after that directly because if session id is there so it means that master key is already present on the server which is connected or which is associated with that particular session id 
So after that master key is there. So definitely there are the keys for the integration, for encryption and for the initialization vector here. So what happened? Then server will send the first encrypted message again. This is the second time it's sending, but this is the time for the resume. We want to just client want to resume the session. So this time server will send again change cipher specific. This time client will not send it first because in the previous videos where we have discussed server base and the client base authentication. So that time client sent the first change cipher specific. So, but this scenario server will send the first change cipher specific message here. So means first encrypted packet again, and then we'll send the finished. So then client will be happy. Yes, that session is not expired yet. So it means I don't have to exchange again 10 messages or 13 messages here so directly then it will send again chain cipher specific okay now let's move or let's switch to the pending state to the current state and then it will be finished here so in this scenario we'll exchange only six messages so there is no server authentication again there is a no client authentication and there is a no pre master exchange between client and server so it will skip all this class server authentication, server hello done, and then it will uh, skip all about uh, client key exchange and client authentication, everything. So directly it will come with the chain cipher specific, finished, and then from the client side again, chain cipher specific and finished. So this is all about session resumption theories. Okay. So about the packet captures, we will discuss in the upcoming videos. So thank you for watching the videos, guys.